What's up guys, it is Jay Biebs here and welcome to another episode of the Cambridge United Road to Glory on FIFA 18. If you saw last episode, we finally turned things around. From being 24th in League 1 to being 4th in League 1. We turned it around in one season and as you can tell from the title, I can guarantee you at some point this series, we will be going to Wembley. I'm not going to tell you what for, and whatever you think it's for, it's not. But we are going to Wembley. But before we get any into any of the craziness, can't forget about the Youth Academy. Going, in, going to Nigeria for half a year. Same goes for Ghana. And Cameroon. And from the Youth Academy, joining the first team is Sun Hee So. South Korean winger, 57 overall, 83 to 89 potential. We'll have to see what his, what his potential ends up being to see if he even stays at the club. Joshua Jansen will also be joining the first team from the Netherlands. 6'2", defensive mid, 58 overall with 84-94 to 94 potential. I really like him. I really think he can be one of our starting defensive mids for us. Or maybe even move him back into the midfield. Or back line. Matthias Lavevra. We'll also be joining the first team, Belgian center mid. He's the playmaker, 59 overall, 68 to 94 potential. Can't say anything on him until we figure out what that potential is. But we have a big league game facing off against our rivals, Peterborough, at our home stadium, the Abbey Stadium. We are lining up in a 4-2-3-1 narrow. Peacock, Pharrell is the keeper. Martin and Bamba make up the center backs. Right and Lou, outside backs, Hill, McGinnis, center mids, Byrne, Walsh, Ferreira in the midfield, and Bell is the striker. Peterborough are playing a 4-4-1-1. Not really concerned about any of these players. I mean, we last season we tied the series. We we each beat each, we beat each other each we were one and one against each other. But I really think we should win this game. Here are the highlights. Looking for a through ball. Real opening for him. Right from the kickoff. They look like scoring they have now. Shot from the off. And bounce in this part of the pitch. He's through here. Could score. And it's there. And that levels the match. Good position. Cleverly done. Needs to stay cool now. Could score. That's a good goal for them. And they have been playing well. So in a very even game. We were able to win. I mean, there's nothing. There's not much. Really, there's not much really to say. We got the win. They lost. Good win for us. So Chung So Ro has been sold. He's going to Shrewsbury for seven hundred sixty thousand dollars. I mean, he just didn't fit in with the club. Wanted to play more. He wasn't good enough to be playing more. So I sold him. So in the month of February, I won. Manager of the Month again for EFL League One. Things are going good, I'll tell you that. So this man will be joining the first team, Goro Kawachi, six foot three, right wing from Japan, 57 overall, 85 to 91 potential. He is going to be a special player at the club. He's going to be a very good player. But we just gotta, you just gotta develop him first. So here's the trip to Wembley you weren't expecting. The final of the Cheka Dre Trophy. Not for anything big, just for a nice piece of silverware, hopefully. The lineup is the same as last game, as it always is. Best 11 to get the results in the final. Wigan do have Will Grigg. So we cannot say that we're going to win this game. I can tell you that Will Grigg will score. The issue is how much. And you can find out in the highlights. Steered through. Played in the clear. First goal in our final today. Oh, didn't he take it well? The goalkeeper. That's a fine chap. The equaliser here. There's the equaliser. Well, they needed that, didn't they? At the end of 90 minutes, we are tied 1-1. One one. We've been controlling the flow of the game, but they've been getting more chances. But hopefully in extra time, 
we can pull away. So we were not able to do so. In fact, I don't think anybody even had a shot on target. So 120 minutes in, nothing has changed. We are going to penalties. Here's the shootout. So here he comes. Sometimes the players volunteer for the first penalty because if they do fail, there's a bit of room for... Man Good What a stressful penalty shootout, but it didn't matter because we won, and that's all that matters. doesn't matter how we win, as long as we win, and we get some nice silverware. The first of the series, yeah. Check a trade trophy is ours. I mean, it's not exactly the biggest of trophies, but you have to start somewhere, you know? Eventually, this will get pushed probably to the back of the cabinet, but hey, at this point, we'll take anything. So, at, once the transfer window opens in the summer, Tong Hyun Chin will be departing the club. He's going to Exeter City for $510,000. And we got eh, what could have been worse, but Harvey Bell pulled his quad. He's going to be out for two weeks. This is definitely going to hurt us as things are starting to get a lot more tense towards the end of the season. Ho Hu has been sold to Grimsby Town. He will be departing for $490,000. And Bruno Ferreira is officially out for the rest of the season as he has torn his LCL and he's out for the next two months. Tough loss, but hopefully this will give other players a chance to shine in his absence. Alexander Jensen's physically strong Belgian, 6'2", 66 overall, 85 to 91 potential. Exactly what I want from a youth academy player. I mean, I mean, I think he's, I think he's just going to be starting right away. Honestly. So I won Manager of the Month again in the month of April. Rightfully so that I won that award because I have gotten Cambridge United into second place in the League One, which means the championship is where we will be next season. We've gotten promoted. Going to be a little bit scary next season. Obviously, it's a big jump. However, I still think we'll do very, very well. So, McGinnis made the most appearances for the club this year with 59, but Wright and Martin were behind him with just behind him with 58. Harvey Bell was the leading goal scorer. He had 24, Walsh had 19, McGinnis 17, and Byrne 13. So, obviously, we have a very good offensive threat. But some of those offensive threats are also playmakers. Byrne and Ferreira finished with 12 assists, Walsh had 11, McGinnis had 8. So we are, things are going pretty good for us. 
We are just kind of progressing slowly as a team, which is exactly what we need to do. Harvey Bell is by far our best player, as he's a 77 overall now. Burn and Walsh are 74s. Wright's a 72. Peacock Ferreira, Fer Ferreira, Martin, and Hill are 71s. So we have a very good young group of players who are just continually improving each day. Harvey Bell is also our most valuable player. He's valued at 21.5 million. Walsh is 12.5, and Burn is 8.5. We now, oh, it looks so much better. We've played 174 games. We've won 75, drew 43, lost 56, but we've scored 246 goals and only allowed 215. And we've also won a domestic cup. So we finally won our first bit of trophy, first silverware. And now we can just celebrate. But we can't celebrate for too long because next season we will be in the championship. It's going to be really tough for us. It's going to be a big jump. But I hope with the Youth Academy, I hope we can just keep bringing players in and it actually won't end up being that big of an issue. But if you want to see how it goes, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Or if you're not watching this on the day it came out, it's probably already out. Click the playlist link down below in the description to see it. And it is Jay Beebs signing off.